Yo, what's going on guys, it's a boy person that can't be here, me, myself and I back again with another video and today's video, oh, we have got some exciting stuff to show you today. We have got some new jutsus here and not only that, but we've also got a lot of character updates and a lot of character buffs that we have to go through. We're just going to go ahead and check out the footage and just report on it. Anyways, so apparently you can now cancel puppet chakra dashes. So that's good to see. Yep, you can cancel them. So you puppet players now have stronger mix-ups versus their opponents. So that's really good. Okay, so after doing some looking around, it turns out that all the posts on Twitter have actually been taken down. I guess there is some fear that maybe their footage is not supposed to be up yet, obviously, because the game's not actually out yet. But we still have some leaked footage here. So thanks to somebody else uploading uh, the video here. So we've got Senju that's actually uploaded the video. I'm going to go ahead and uh, check out this from him so it seems that pain here can actually do his universal pause a second jutsu and not only that but he has his infinite back from revolution in his third hit that is infinite stun right there in his third hit so good uh three hit infinite there by pain and here you can see that orochimaru actually has a new wind style jutsu that seems really fast really powerful and can actually combo as well which seems really good and again there's a repeat of it there yep really strong also, Tamari cover fire is still going to be really strong. Good stun on the Tamari cover fire, so that's interesting to see. This is a new Kakazu Jitsu here. So, yeah, she has um, an unblockable lightning style Jitsu. So, the damage isn't actually that great, as you can see here. The damage is pretty average. Um, but, yeah, it's unblockable. So, like, he makes the opponent block and then pressures the guard or whatever. And then, boom, before you know it, he's doing stuff like that. Strange how that UJ actually whiffed, but, uh, you know, we move, we move. So this is interesting. So Tobarama can now teleport with his grab as well. That is disgusting. Amazing that he can do that. I love this. You just, you initiate the grab anywhere on the map. Boom, you're in their face. That's going to make for some great approach tactics with Tobarama. Tobarama is going to be a good pick as well. A super strong pick. Honestly, I cannot wait to see this man in action. Oh, dude. There's so many buffs to these characters, I, I just can't wait to play them all. We also do have Tsunade's Slug Jitsu here. So I did mention that Tsunade has her Colgate Slug here, the Toothpaste Slug, and she spits out the acid just as I said she would. So that is what Lady Katsuyu is doing here, is spitting the acid. Now, the stun is decent. Like, I'm pretty sure you can convert off of it, but yeah, um, not a lot of damage there. So Lava's, so the Lava Star from May has actually been nerfed. Um, it doesn't actually have two hits anymore, and it just blows them back. So that's different. But she can do the water rain and convert off it into the lava. So this is going to be an interesting one. So May has received a couple of nerfs here as well. So um, she can actually convert off a grab as well. So you can see that there. Yep. Go to the air combo for that. But her water pellets have been nerfed. So if you look, look at this, guys, they stop right there. They don't actually travel across the whole screen anymore. So... It seems like uh, CC2 have been aware of some people complaining about Mei in Storm 4 and have nerfed her, uh, her long range, which is kind of like her identity. So really interesting that they've done that. Next, we're moving on to Killer B and his new second jutsu is a Tell Beast Bomb. So yeah, basically also I want to mention that a lot of the, some of these characters do actually have awakening uh, jutsus or abilities as their second jutsus so what this means is that they no longer have those jutsus as an option in their awakening or it's still there in their awakening as well so that's something to uh consider as well guys massive i love that from killer b we love that he has a very quick infinite as well just after the ic3 there Kisame's grab now drains chakra. What? <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> uh, I mean, I guess it makes sense because Kisame's whole thing is that the, the Samehada drains your chakra, makes itself stronger. It's just the amount of chakra it drains, it drains is, ter is terrifying. But not only that, but obviously because of the fast chakra regen, it's understandable. Man, just look at that. That's crazy. PTS Sasuke now has the Phoenix Flower Fire Jitsu as well, so that's really cool to see. I don't think he has that in line with the Fireball Jitsu though. I think he still has his old tilt, which is quite annoying, but this is this is good to see. I like this. This is nice. Conan's got a brand new Jitsu as well. Sends out these big paper birds. So that's fascinating. 
to see it again there. Boom. She dashes and can convert off of it as well into the combo. You can do a grab. You can actually combo off the grab as well. So you can see dash after the grab of Conan. Here we go. Oh, Foo. Foo. <laughs> Foo is something else. Something else entirely. Right. So she does the grab, bounce them off the ground, dash in. You can do her jutsu in the air, dash off of that, go back. <laughs> you just do a whole bunch of stuff. And then she's got her big fog jutsu as her second jutsu as well, which I imagine would still do the debuffs. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but yeah, oh, I think that's everything Senju got for this video. Yeah, like I said, sadly, there are other footages of characters, but sadly, they have, they've been taken down. But I can tell you now that Shino, his second jutsu is no longer his tilt. His second jutsu is actually his awakening ability. So the big ball of insects that drains your chakra. Um, it has a lot of sun and it can be converted on. Not only that, but Shino now has infinite in his IC2. The likes of Shino, Ten Ten, Tamari, Utakata, uh, Adedra, they have all had their long range combos buffed, which means that they can now all um, land a long range combo without any dropping or out any stutters or anything. So they've all been fixed to actually work properly at long ranges, which is really good to see. And the likes of Tamari can actually do her full circle combo. And once they're knocked back, you can actually land her square, like long range fan jutsu off of it and land your fan jutsu. So Tamari has got a nice buff as an individual character not as a supporting character so it'll be interesting to see where she's going to be placed on tier lists now but that is pretty much all i got to report is that we've got a lot of buffs here a lot of changes um it's actually incredible just to see this uh yeah it just makes me more excited for for next week when connections is going to be in our hands and we will get to try these in online matches against each other anyways as always tell me what you think of that in the comment section i would love to know it's been a boy poison like Kami. Jonette.